Should be okay. Okay, good morning. Welcome to... Awesome Math number 131. Awesome Math 131. We started talking about square roots yesterday, but we forgot to do a movie. Yep. So, as we sit down to do a little reviewing of the work we did yesterday, let's see if that's a good marker. Um, I, I figured we'd just do some quick square roots. What, what can you tell me about this square root idea? Well, it has to be... It has to be non-negative. What has to be non-negative? The square root of x it's going to have to be non-negative. Okay, the square root, we define it to be positive, yeah. so that's that's good. What else can you tell me about it? Well, you can also have, like, you can also have different types of roots, like third root, then fourth root. Oh, interesting. Yeah, actually, we didn't even talk about that yesterday. How did you know about that? I think we, I think we did it in a movie. Oh, okay. What does it mean? What does the square root mean? The square root, well, it means like if you have square root of 4, it's the opposite. It's what you need to multiply to get 4. Okay. It's like, so 2 times 2 would be 4. So square root of 4 is 2. Alright. So the square root tells you the number you need to square to get to 4. What does the cube root tell you? Cube root. Think? I think for the cube root of 64, well, you need to do 4 times 4 times 4, so cube root of 64 would be 4. Okay, so this is telling you the number you need to cube to get to, the number on the yeah. inside. Pretty interesting. Cool. Okay, you ready to do some sample problems? Okay. Alright, here we go. What is the square root of... 256. Um, I th the square root, I think that would be 16. Wow, 16. Cool. What is the square root of 17 squared? 17. How come you didn't have to multiply it out? Because it, you, the, square root, the square root and the square cancel. Interesting. What is the square root of negative 21 squared? It's undefined. Why is that? Because the square roots have to be non-negative. Okay. So, in the, because the, if you cancel these, you would get minus 21. Ah, interesting. Let's put this one on pause for a second. Pause. How about the square root of minus 2 squared? Minus 2? Well, well, that wouldn't, well, actually I think you could make it positive because you square to get 4. Okay, so this is the same thing as the square root of 4 because minus 2 squared is yeah. So, and then the square root of that is 2. The square root of that is 2. Okay. Hmm. So let's go back up a level to here and find the square root of minus 21 squared. Well, this should be the same as... This is the same... So we would need to... Oops. We could. So we can make this, we can square it, and we get. So we get 21 squared. Okay. So we get the square root of 21 squared. It'd be 21. Ah, very interesting. A toothy smile. So, while you can sometimes think about the square root and the square canceling, yeah. sometimes you can. You can't always, because here what happens is the squaring operation actually does something to this number. Yeah. It's a little different than what happens here. Yeah. This number is already positive. This number is negative, but it becomes positive. It becomes a positive number when you square it. Hmm. So you can't just cancel the square roots 
and the squares. Just like you can't do the, th the thing in reverse, we can't do the square root of minus 1 squared right now anyway. Right now. Right now, because we've defined the square root to only take positive or non-negative numbers yeah. as inputs. It can take 0 as an input if you want. Yeah. But right now we wouldn't know how to do this. Maybe nobody knows how to do this. Well, I know how to hey. do square root of minus 1. What? You do? What is it? It's I. You? Yeah. I. <laughs> you? I. I. Square root. So you've seen this a little bit. Yeah. And so this deals with that. But right now, in the book, this wouldn't be defined. Yeah. Even though when you square this, you get minus 1. You get back to minus 1 right now. This wouldn't be defined. So we do have to be a little bit careful. That's a good review. Good review of uh, square roots from yesterday. Ready to learn a little more today? Yeah. All right. Good job, sweetheart.